when am I gonna get my scores back? Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video, we're gonna talk about when you might get your general curriculum 178 and 278 test scores back. Let's go. To get an idea of when you might get your scores back, if you're a teacher that's tested and taken the new general curriculum exam, the new MTEL 178 or 278 exam, let's look back at what happened last year, a year earlier at some of the exams that came out on the same weekend as the MTEL, the new MTEL 78 exams. And I wanna look specifically, there's two that are really important. There's the science and technology, the MTEL 70, and there's the General Science MTEL 64 exam. Now, both these exams came out on August 22nd, 2022. That's the same weekend as the, the new General Curriculum exam came out. That one came out on August 21st, 2023. Now, for these older exams, for the MTEL 70 and the MTEL 64, teachers had to wait a whopping five months or until January 27th, 2023. That's over five months team, they had to wait for scores to come back. And if we use the same math for an August, uh, a late August exam, that would mean that teachers that took the general curriculum 178 and 278 exams, they would have to wait five months. We're talking sometime in late January, 2024. So let's just write out uh, January 26, 2024. Right? That, that would be the, the equivalent, okay? Now, if you're listening to me right now and you're like, what? I'm going to have to wait till January 26, 2024. What? That's a long time. Now, here's why I don't think that's going to happen. Because these new exams, the general curriculum exam is really important for licensing for elementary and special education. It's really important for teachers that are trying to get jobs. It's important for principals to hire teachers. It's important for graduate programs to accept students. It, it's, a, it's something that really impacts a large group of elementary school teachers and special education teachers. So it's a really important test. And, and to have teachers wait five months to get scores back is, is gonna be very challenging. It's gonna throw, it's gonna really make things challenging for schools, teachers, and educational programs. So while this is a possibility, you might not get scores back until January, 2024, I think, it's gonna be a little different. So what I wanna do is I wanna look at another example here. And that one is the MTEL 72, this one here. Now this is very important team. The MTEL 72 came out on February 6, 2023. Now this is a very important exam for early childhood education. It's very important. And, and teachers, early childhood teachers, and there's a, there's a need for early childhood teachers right now. This exam came out in February, teachers had to wait and if they had to wait the full five months, they wouldn't have gotten scores back till after school ended. It would have been a disaster for new teachers, for schools, for graduate programs, because you know it would have been a huge chunk of time where most of the hiring is done in the springtime. So what happened is these teachers got scores back a month earlier on June 3rd, 2023. So they only had to wait four months. Now, here's the thing, team. I think that the general curriculum exams are going to be more like the MTEL 72 because these are critical exams. You need to get these back and you need to understand what the scores mean so that you can, you can make adjustments, right? So waiting until January 2024, I, think, I don't think that's going to work. I think it's much more realistic that you're going to get scores back like MTEL 72 early childhood teachers got scores back. So that would be four months. So that would mean team, on the earliest end, the earliest possible time would be December 1st. The reason why I say December 1st, even though it's on the earlier end is because schools are still open. And if you wait too long, schools are gonna shut down for the winter holidays. I think that December 1st could be a date potentially when you get scores back. You can make adjustments at that time. You could still contact your advisor. Schools are still open. So I think it's a really strong candidate for when you might get scores back. Another date could be December 16th. 
a little bit later. This is sort of like the uh, <laughs> the news just before winter break. Okay, um, potentially that is a date too, and that's around four months from the start. So that could potentially be a date. And then finally, you know, maybe on the later end, the full five months, similar to the 64 and the Intel 70 exam, that would be January 26, 2024. That would be like a worst case scenario. That's going to really impact um, schools, graduate programs, uh, uh, teachers, students. You know, it's going to really impact the educational system because it's such a long delay for such a major test. And what that will do, if it's one of these later uh, report dates, is that it's going to put a lot of pressure on teachers to take this exam and pass it over the spring. And you need to realize that if you're a teacher out there that's kind of waiting to see what happens. You need to realize that if teachers don't get scores back by this time, it means that come the springtime, everyone's going to be rushing to uh, get this test done because they've been sitting, waiting for scores to come back since August, and they're going to get scores back late, and then they're going to be in a rush, a mad rush to take these exams. So, so make sure that's in the back of your mind, because if you start to see that scores are not out by December, you should really be planning now. You should really make adjustments because you don't want to be caught having a hard time this spring um, trying to get a test date, okay? All right, team, these are my best guesses on when I think you're going to get your exams back if you've, you've just taken the 178 and the 278, okay? All right, team, everyone have a wonderful day. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you uh, need some help on these exams, make sure you check out a Go Academy workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Everyone have a wonderful day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.